Hey, what's up, Black America? It's your girl, Dia Direct, and we are here going beyond the studio today with Mr. Will Downing, the voice whose new album is called what? Today. Hey, Will. Hello, how you? I got to do like you did when you started talking. What, you like what, leaned what? in like. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's just get it. Hear me. Let's get this right here. Right mm -hmm. here. See that? That's a picture. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Right hold on. Me. Work that out. <laughs> so you know what's really cool is first of all this is your first independent release. Correct. So you're doing it in a trilogy. So you had yesterday, which came out in the fall. Right. Here we are on today, and then we'll look forward to tomorrow. In June. Correct. So yeah. I think that's hot and. What's really interesting is, first of all, I think because we go beyond the studio, your music is so sultry and it touches the soul and the hearts and it's romantic and all that, but you're just silly. No. <laughs> I, would, I haven't exuded anything like that to, at this moment. You I mean, are silly. No, I, don't, I haven't seen And you just have such a great sense of humor. Thank People you. really get to see that um, when they get you in concert. So how does that translate into your music? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> the silliness never comes across in the music. It normally comes across when I do one-on-one -on -one interviews right. with you, uh, or if I'm in concert. You mm -hmm. know, we just try to make it very entertaining, well, along you, with the 20 years worth of music that I have. You are entertaining, Thank and you. because you are so open and you touch so many people's personal lives, I'm gonna get all up in your business. Uh oh, here we go, all up in my Kool-Aid. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, so you're married. Yes. Okay, how long have you been married? This time. Yes. Uh, this will be 10 years. Okay. How many times have you been married? Uh, one other time before. And how many kids do you have? Uh, that we know of? Yes. Okay, yes. How many? Uh, three. Okay. Three. Like a trilogy, okay. you got three right. of them. Right. So this is my point, though. And they ain't kids no more, by uh, the way. They, they, you know, you, they grown. They grown. Well, well, two of them are 27 and 21. So here's the thing, because, I mean, let's keep it real. Okay. You're back touring mm -hmm. and uh, in good health. I think so. Well, good. And because your music is the way that it is, I know you know you get a lot of women who just love Will Downing. You know, I I, did, I had noticed that one. So really liked so my music. so whatever. So my point is, for a married man, mm -hmm. people always want what they can't have. Uh -huh. What are the boundaries? Oh, I mean, listen, music is a fantasy. Let's just be honest here. You know, normally a lot of the songs that you hear, yes, people obviously do live those type of lifestyles and they try to satisfy their significant others or when they're trying to get something, they say what they have to say to get what they want. Right. And it's the same thing for me. I sing about the good and the sometimes not so good in relationships. Mm -hmm. So it's just, they're just songs. Some are very sexy and some people have their, let their imaginations flow. Right. And, you know, if it includes me, then great. I mean, you know, in the fantasy. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, that's a nice segue, though, because one of the songs uh, that I've been listening to, which is really sexy, is mm -hmm. called what? Sexy. sexy. <laughs> sexy. It's sexy. It's sexy. You're so sexy. You're so sexy. Mm -hmm. So what is sexy to you? Um, a lot of things. I mean, I, I see sex sexiness in a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Uh, obviously, the outward appearance is, you know, the most obvious. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone's dressed not too, you know, not too out, not showing too much. But, mm -hmm. you know, being a lady, I like ladies that act like ladies and dress like ladies. And something sexy is also a woman with a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. You know, so well-rounded, someone who's independent, you know, short haircut. Right, keep it going, right, keep Wearing talking. Uh-huh, right. Okay, but what's not sexy? Give me some of your, I mean, because there are some things that we all know, not too much. Um, something that's not sexy uh, to me, Yes. people that are loud, mm -hmm. uh, obnoxious, people who believe that they are sexy. Mm. That tell you they're sexy. I'm sexy. I, I, you don't know what you're missing, child. Really? You know? Isn't that called confidence? That's overconfidence. So you don't but think you're sexy? Me? Yeah. I leave that to other people to say what I am. Okay. Like you said, I'm funny. So right. I mean, maybe I'm funny to someone else. I might be sexy to someone else. I might be, you know, I'm different things to different people. Okay. So if you, if you're, so basically having too much ego. Uh, is a turn off. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. All right. Anything else? Um, I could go down a litany of things, but we're not going to do that to turn off anyone. All well. right, all right. So now, 10 years in, I mean, you talk about love and life all the time. Mm -hmm. So if you had to share with us one of your biggest lessons in keeping a marriage healthy and going, what would that be? Well, 
I think that my marriage was put to the test years ago when I got sick, mm -hmm. and I got very sick. Mm -hmm. For and better or for worse, for in sickness worse, and in, sickness in health. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't know about anyone else, but a lot of times when I see people get married, they don't really take those words to heart. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of times those words don't come into play. Mm -hmm. And it came into play in my life. Mm -hmm. And my wife stood by me and took care of me. And, you know, family really played a big part in my life. And I knew that those words really meant something and that I married the right person. So I would imagine, I may be presumptuous, mm -hmm. But, you know, you being successful, being creative, being able to be independent and do for yourself. When you got sick, I would imagine, um, and just for those who don't know, just tell us what happened to you. Oh, I um, had acquired a disease called polymyositis, mm -hmm. which is a muscular disease. Mm -hmm. So basically it had taken away my ability to walk and to use my arms and at some point even to sing. Mm. So it to speak and to sing. So I had to relearn everything over again. So. So my question. So obviously we're happy that you're here with us now. Yes, and much better. Uh, yeah, and I singing. I don't, I don't think anyone's happier than me. Yes, trust me. I believe that. Mm -hmm. But um, did that mess with your ego? How be, not being able to be independent? How did it affect you beyond the physical? How did it impact you? Well, it's a mental thing. I mean, it will jack your mind up when mm -hmm. you can't do anything for yourself. You know, you got to go to the bathroom. You have to push a button for someone to come pick you up and put you on a potty. That's very humbling. Oh, it's extremely humbling. Yeah. So I wasn't worried about sexiness. I wasn't worried. I wasn't thinking about music. I was thinking about my health. I decided to, you know, kind of reestablish my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And that was my... You know, that was my whole process every day. I think that's a nice segue because you you tend to add the spiritual somehow into your projects. And I mean, I know the last one you talked about um, a, a spiritual song and this one you have the blessing. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about that. The blessing is a wedding song. I've never done a traditional wedding song. Mm -hmm. I've done songs that I guess you could if you you know thought about it in a different way could be used for that. But this is a straight up. I love you, will you be my partner for life type song. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I decided to do the song entitled The Blessing. Well, Will, you are a blessing. Oh, and so are you. And it's a blessing that you're here with us. We have gone beyond the studio. I'm your girl, Dia Direct, right here on blackamericaweb.com. Go, Will. Cheese! <laughs>